Hi everyone, so welcome to a brand new video. Today is going to be a small tutorial on how you can do the same uh, system basically as in Battlefield where you get out of the map and you have like X amount of seconds to get back in or you're gonna die automatically. So this is how it looks at the end of the video. If I get into basically outside of the map, the warning sign starts and we have a timer of 10 seconds or the X amount of seconds you want. And I'm going to die. Okay guys, so I am in a new scene now. And we are basically going to set up the scene for a few seconds. So let's go ahead and open a 2D object and a sprite. I'm going to create a new sprite. You can of course use your own um, art for your project. So I'm going to create a square. I'm going to call it as a white. We set the position of it and it can be the ground. Now I'm just going to scale it a bit. You can create another 2D sprite and drag the same out. And this is going to be our wall. So, so you can actually position it wherever you want. So, um, I'm going to be calling it as a block area and control d to duplicate it and i'm just gonna clear, uh, give it a minus so it's gonna be um at the left side and block area two so awesome now let's create an empty game object just to make it a bit more organized so i'm just gonna call it general out sorry and drag all of those things awesome now i am going to create uh, my character which again, you can use, of course, whatever art you have. But my script is going to be pre-made script. Uh, link in the description if you need it. Um, it's called player move 5. I'm going to put the speed to 6 and uh, reset the position of it. Let's give it a rigid body 2D. And a box collider 2D too. Call it as the player and let's go now UI so UI and you can create a text or an image let's just make it scale with screen size we set the position of the image stretch it and we can you can definitely play with it on your side of course as I previously said uh, i'm gonna make the color as red and a bit transparent so this is gonna be the red image another text and it's going to be a, you know a bit more transparent so a text or overflow and make it as a center disable the raycast under each text you don't need it just choose whatever fonts you want Actually going to be our warning task, a warning. You can duplicate it by hitting the control D button and timer the text, which is going to be the timer. So awesome, I think we set up all of the UI now. What we can do is actually create an empty game object and I'm gonna be calling it as the uh, UI out and drag all of those things into the UI out as a child. Awesome. This, sorry, uh, disable the UI out object. So I'm actually going to create now our uh, script. So let me show you uh, our general script. So it's actually going to be warning engine. Again, you can call it whatever you want. I already have one, so I'm going to be calling it as a version 2. Double click to open it up. Awesome. So you can remove the uh, start functions. So we're going to be using the uh, Unity Engine UI, uh, UI API. So just make sure to use that. And we are going to make as a public static warning engine. Sorry, V2, which is this class. We want to create a static. Uh, 
reference, so we can actually access class functions from any other script we have uh, in our project. So I'm gonna go call it instance and another few variables so pool trigger automatically is going to be on false public float uh, which is the timer amount you can give it whatever value you want so it is going to be 10 for me another public which is the text and the timer text and the public game object which is the art oh you know what you can call it as the ui out Awesome, so first of all, let's up, set up our instance, so void awake equals to this and void update We are going to be checking a few stuff, so first of all, we are going to say that if trigger Which is our billion here is equals to truth and we're gonna say timer minus equals to time dot delta time so timer sorry timer text uh, dot text equals to uh, timer dot to string now if you're actually going to close it up like this and run the game it will work but it will show you a lot of other uh, floats which is not going to be really nice visually it will look really a bit ugly i'm going to use the f1 which is the fixed point to basically show only one float and not so many and inside of our trigger boolean we are still inside of the loop so we are going to be saying that if the timer is smaller or equals to zero then you are going to be printing that we are dead and then just closing the loop by trigger equals to false now let's create uh, two more functions so public void enter area and another one which is public void exit area so in the first one we are going to be actually uh, enabling the ui out object so set active equals to truth and then the trigger is equals to truth too that's about it in the enter area function here we are actually going to be saying the same thing but opposite so it is false the out can be false too and we are going to want to basically reset the timer so timer equals to 10 float and yeah i think that's about it in this script so you can save it up and go back to unity awesome so let's drag our variables into the script so um this is the ui out the timer and that's about it now inside of our general art Let's open up our block area, one of the ones we have, and get a new script. We're going to be calling it as a block area trigger. Oh, again, any name you want. Awesome. So this is actually going to be quite easy. We are basically just going to be using the built-in functions within Unity. So on trigger, enter 2D, and then set up the collider 2D um sorry component and you can give it some kind of a reference i'm gonna say hit and just close it up we're gonna do the same thing just, you can just copy it up and instead of enter it is going to be exit and we are now we now have a reference to our warning engine uh version 2 with a, because we have made it as a static so enter area close it up and when we are exiting so the same thing dot instance dot exit area awesome go back to unity again now really all you're gonna need to do now is drag uh, the new script into the other block area so all we actually got left to do is enabling our blinking animation for our warning text. So let's hit the animation window and get it a new one. I'm just going to be calling it as a warning, as a warning blink. Hit the record button and let's go like to uh, 
0.005 and simply just gonna uh, disable the text go to 010 and just enable back the text now you're gonna see that if you're gonna run the animation it will look a bit fast if it is too fast for you you can simply change the samples uh right here so if you want it a bit more slow you can do 30 let's see how it looks and maybe 30 it's better yep that's fine awesome so let's stop now because this is an animation that just got created it is looping automatically on default so you can actually disable the ui out back one last thing i forgot to give the clown the box collider 2d so i don't want to actually fall and to our block area we want to give it again a box collider 2d and set it as a is trigger awesome now you have uh, the option of of course uh, disabling the sprite renderer and then you have those invisible walls or areas but just for testing i'm going to enable it let's run the game and see how it goes so i'm moving right and left and the warning sign starts the timer starts let's see what happened when i get to zero if it's going to stop just to making sure awesome so i'm actually dead now we can get out of the function and get in back again and it starts so thank you guys for watching the video i know it's a bit basic and maybe it was too short um, but yeah i really wanted to just show this um, cool system on how you can actually implement it as a 2D game. Um, got inspiration, of course, from Battlefield. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're going to see me in my next video uh, this week on the Photon Tutorial. If not, then not. <laughs> um, but yeah, leaving a comment is actually very helpful. If I see all comments, I know that I should continue making these uh, videos. So thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you next time.